I'm really good friends with a guy here at SC. He's one of my best friends. I don't know if you guys probably know Pat Hayden. Yeah, Pat, Pat Hayden. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, he's right. Yeah. So, but he he really inspired me early in my career. I would say Pat spent 25 to 30 percent of his time doing favors for other people. And I, you know, it was unbelievable. I mean, he was always just helping people. And trust me, he's calling all those favors in now. I mean, I've never seen a guy more honored. <clears throat> you know, it's it's amazing. But I remember at the time. That's something that I've always done. I, I, I probably do it partly out of insecurity. I'm not sure people like me, but if I bring value to the relationship, maybe they'll like me. You know, you know, I'm sure there's something deep-seated in that. But I've always felt like if you help people, you never know who's going to come around later. And I cannot tell you how many times people would say, oh, you know what, I needed a job and you helped me get it. You know, my brother created a website for people who wanted to get jobs in the entertainment industry. That's kind of cool. He didn't make any money at it. He didn't want to make any money. He just wanted to help people. And there's just something oddly bizarre and wonderfully karmic about if you help people when you have nothing in it, I can't tell you how much it comes back. And you never know when. And by the way, a lot of people, it never comes back. I mean, a lot of people I look at, I can't believe I helped that guy. He's a dick. But, uh, but most, you know, but, you know, you know and, but it's just amazing. And I, I think that's the big part of having a, if you want to roll a Rolodex, help somebody when they don't, when you don't ask for something yeah, back. Yeah, with no expectation yeah. to come back.